let me start with a couple of questions. Um, already we started with uh, talking about the hard times that we're facing economically. So if you look at the financial position that we're looking at today, what about cash? What about cash and why do I ask? I had um, a friend who, uh, who had a company and he said five years ago the banks would come to me and ask, do you want more credit? I have some, another credit facility for you, what can I do for you? Nowadays he has to beg for getting a credit to run his business. And credit, if you look at cash, of course, when you have inventory, and I'm inventory manager worldwide for IBM for the service parts business, it's a lot of cash that is tied up in our inventories. And uh, of course, IBM wants to have that freely available. So I always need to make sure that I manage to the budget. So cash is very important, and we don't want to have inventory there that we don't need. And this is what we try to avoid. Well, this is, of course, historical. Is profit important? Well, we're all companies here, so we know that without profit, we're out of business. But if you look at profit, it's on the one side is revenue, and on the other side, it is cost. Now, I'm in, say, in the back-end operation, so they always look at me to minimize the cost. And when I talk about cost in search parts management, one of the big items that we have is that at the end of the life cycle, we need to throw away parts, we need to scrap them. And that's a financial hit, that's a very significant financial hit for IBM uh, to the order of uh, 10, 12% of our inventory on an annual base worldwide. In Europe, we are at a lower percentage, I'm proud to say. So we're starting to focus on how can we lower the amount of write-offs. So, why I'm talking about commodity-based life cycle forecasting is because this, this commodity-based life cycle tells us how to better forecast our usage into the future and therefore have no, less unnecessary inventory and at the end of the life cycle need to less uh, write off our inventory and therefore, um, of course, have a better financial position. Just taking you to the structure of the presentation, uh, I'll talk a bit about IBM. Um, uh, everybody probably knows IBM. I talk about the maintenance business of IBM and the position of the parts organization in the maintenance business. And then I zoom in, hopefully as quickly as possible, to the parts planning process where we apply uh, the commodity-based life cycle forecasting. I'll talk about what is it, commodity-based life cycle forecasting, how do you get it, and how difficult it is to establish a commodity-based life cycle. And if you have it, what can you do with it? How can you, can, can it help you to uh, achieve your aims of less inventory and less scrap uh, hit at the end of the life cycle?